All right, guys, check this thing out. This is the UR UAV top hand, helping hands. Uh, these were sent in to me by Banggood, and as you can see, it is their interpretation of the very popular style of helping hand. In fact, the actual arms are very similar to the originals, but it has a couple of very nifty improvements and features that I would like to mention. First of all, the bottom plate that stabilizes the whole thing is very high quality CNC aluminum with a bunch of indentations or mainly cutouts. On the other side, it has also cutouts for the very different types of popular connectors that we use in FPV, such as XT60 and XT30. And for us that, or the guys that fly bigger crafts, we all, they also have XT90s. Um, the cool thing is that not only do they have XT60, but they have XC60 male and female. Keep in mind though that it fits the original style of XC60 where the Amaz style, which is a little bit more rounded, doesn't quite fit there, but it's still, you can still put it somewhere else and it is quite all right, um, as you can see there. It has three different arms, unlike a lot of the most popular helping hands which only have four and while four is good and probably enough for most situations it's great having extra ones i for example do a lot of conformal coating so putting having an extra arm to hold a part out like that while i have it dry while i work on other parts is really really convenient this one also has a spot to put your soldering iron there and even more it comes with a little fan. This is a fan very much alike like the ones run on PCs, only a little bit smaller. It runs on five volt, so it actually uses a standard USB connector. So you just plug this in to any standard USB charger or connector and you can power your fan. Now this is extremely useful because for example, in summer, I'll run a fan next to my workbench so that it blows away the soldering fumes but in winter when it's actually pretty cold in the house I don't like to do that because it's just uncomfortable so having a tiny fan blowing over your area of work is really good because as we all know inhaling um, flux fumes which is basically what it is because um, the solder itself the uh, lead is not hot enough to vaporize what actually the smoke you're seeing is actually the core which is usually a mixture of flux inside of the um, solder itself and also sometimes we add extra flux but anyway the point is that all those exhaust fumes from the smoke can be blown away from the area with this little fan yes it's better to have a system that sucks up all that smoke and put it in a container instead of actually or filters it instead of just putting it into the air but this is better than having just smoke just go up straight into your nose. Uh, the arms are extremely high quality. Really, um, they're just like the originals. They, uh, you know, they move around just fine. They hold position just very well. And I found this system, this type of arm, actually, even though they loosen up over time a little bit, not enough to where they flop around. They stay really, really stiff and steady for a very long time. At the bottom, it has these rubber feet so it has six of them basically each where one of these arms connect to and these are pretty strong i know sometimes rubber feet tend to break but these seem very strong so i don't think they will be breaking if they do you can add a pad or, the, or something like that or foam at the bottom but i really don't think it's pretty good um the arms uh themselves come with very high quality alligator clips i like the fact that it has a plastic at the end and also it has uh, what essentially is shrink tubing on the very end of them. And they turn around just fine. And if this shrink tubing ever wears out, it's the same stuff that we use on our wire. So you can just put more over it in order to cover the teeth. As you can see here, here's a demonstration of um, the, uh, the clips holding a power distribution board there. And 
they come out very easily simply by unscrewing that and they pull right out and as you can see they have a very nice aluminum base you can just screw them back in and tighten them and you're good to go so really that is pretty much it the soldering uh, holder the solder iron holder screws right into the base it's threaded so that's very very clean the way they designed that and it has a little space area where you can put different things maybe like screws or whatever so that you don't lose them just put them right there um there is really not a whole lot more to say about this i mean really it is a useful tool to have um around the bench when you are building quads and um very very useful for not only soldering but also for conformal coating parts because you basically just put your part on one of these things and then you can just brush on the uh, conformal coating to your heart's content and then let it dry put it off to the side while you work on something else so it dries in fact I, I actually now that I have this one and I also have the original one I will most than more than likely be um, using one to dry conformal coated parts while I use the other one to solder uh, one thing I worth mentioning here notice that there's these grub screws they are only really on these three and they're actually if you insert them all the way in they will hold the xt90 plugs and this t which i'm gonna guess is dean's not exactly sure what that one is for but anyway the point is you screw those in and it holds the xt90 in place these don't have them because honestly they don't need them but you can move the grub screw over if you actually wanted to use it and the whole threads all the way through so that's pretty much everything you need so there we have it guys that's the ur uav top hand helping hands from banggood uh, i will put a link in the description if you want to acquire this it is an affiliate link uh thank you very much for using it um but i do think it's a quality product and i definitely would recommend it i'm glad i have it and it's definitely taking what is the usual helping hands and kind of like beefing it up and making it even more practical thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video again if you're interested in buying this or any other product go ahead and click on the link and uh, it'll help me out since i put so much work into this channel thumbs up to this video go check out some of my other videos and uh, go ahead and subscribe for more like this i'll see you in the next one